huge U.S. Navy base at Guantanamo Bay, Cuba, holds the headlines once more. And it is Premier Castro who is bringing new tension here with the shutting down of the water supply in reprisal for the arrest of 30 Cuban fishermen in U.S. waters. Now, by clearing civilians from a five-mile deep area around the U.S. base. A Berlin Wall, it is called by the base commander, Rear Admiral John D. Bulkley. The impact of the water shortage is reflected everywhere on the base. Alpha is the code name for the shutoff, calling for extreme care and conservation of the existing water supply. Commercial facilities are closed, as are swimming pools. Car washing is taboo, and lawns go thirsty. At Norfolk, Virginia, the water tanker Tallulah completes clean 300,000 gallons of drinking water for Gitmo. Base consumption was about 2 million gallons a day before the cutoff. Was ordered reduced to 500,000, but is allowed to rise again to about 1 million. Drinking water delivered by tanker costs $7.95 a thousand gallons, making it probably the most expensive water in the world. An hour-long daily grace period for pumping in Cuban water is turned down, but Castro charges the U.S. is stealing water, so Admiral Buckley orders the pipeline cut, breaking the last link to communist Cuba from this U.S. Navy base. A salt water conversion plant will be shipped to Guantanamo. Meanwhile, the USS Abitan can supply 100,000 gallons of fresh water a day from the ocean. Some 500 of the 3,000 Cubans employed at the base have already been dismissed in retaliation for Castro's shutoff of fresh water supplies. Cuban workers have brought home $5 million in pay each year from the base. And the crisis builds out where a no man's land faces the option posts around a 21 mile perimeter. Covering continues, but his attempts to force the United States from this base by cutting off the water has failed.